Hi, this is Stuart from Club 250. We're going to have a look at some online testing on my 1989 FZR400 with this 5-pin regulator rectifier. You can see that I've put all the wiring to the correct positions. The red wire goes to the positive terminal, the black wire to the negative terminal, and the three white phases that come from the stator located behind the flywheel on this particular bike. So that's now hooked in correctly. What we're going to do is we're going to test the voltage across the battery here. I've connected the positive pin to the positive terminal, the negative pin to the negative terminal and held them in place with some basic alligator clips that I bought from JB Hi-Fi. This is the multimeter we're going to use to do the test. Um, we're going to switch it to DC voltage. We want to make sure that it's DC, not AC. DC is the V with the flat line and the dotted line underneath it, while AC is up the top there, the V with the squiggly line next to it. So make sure you use DC. At the moment, this battery is 13.08 volts. DC. Uh, that's a little higher than normal. Usually it should be around 12.8 volts, but because I've recently charged it, it'll sit at a high voltage for a little while before it settles back down to where it was. So I'll start this bike up. So it's settling at about 14.15-ish, um, yeah, maybe a little more, getting up to 14.2 there. So look, for all intents and purposes, this charging system is working correctly. We know that what's actually happening here is the regulator rectifier is supplying more current to the battery than what the battery is using to run the bike. Therefore, the battery is unlikely to go flat of its own accord um, during normal riding unless it's buggered. So that is the online test, thanks for watching.